Since everything drawn in Concepts is vector-based, every item on Canvas can be measured as a result. To access these features, you'll have to open the Precision panel, which can be found from the status bar up here. When you activate Measure and start drawing, you'll see a measurement label appear at the end of it, showing the length of your stroke. After about four seconds, the label will disappear unless you tap on it to make it stick to the canvas. Alternatively, you can select any previously drawn stroke to reveal the length of it when measure is active. Again, just tap on it, deselect, and the label will stick around. If you tap and hold on the label while selected, you'll be able to adjust its length precisely via the status bar. Dragging the label allows you to replace it which can be very useful when dealing with complex technical drawings. When you move an item with measure active, the distance traveled will be displayed. You can make these labels stick with a tap as well. You may have noticed that at the very top of the layers panel, a new layer has appeared called measurements. This layer contains all the measurements you've made visible on canvas. You can control its visibility here, or move it up and down the layer stack with a tap and hold as usual. Tapping on it gives you options to adjust opacity, delete all the labels, or quickly access workspace settings related to measurements. Here you can change the scale, units, and display format of the measurements. In case you're left-handed, the orientation of the label can be flipped from the workspace settings down here. The scale of your drawing is always displayed in the precision panel next to measure over here. You can also change the scale by tapping directly on the value here. When you're ready to export, all the labels will be included as long as measure is active and the measurements layer is visible. They adjust to scale so they'll remain readable no matter the zoom level. The fill tool is used to display surface area but that will be covered more broadly in another video. You can also create floating measurement labels that aren't attached to any stroke using shape guides, but that will also be covered in another video.